uh, welcome back everybody um, for this video I'll be discussing the reactions of groups on aromatic rings on the aromatic ring and there will be five main reactions that occur on the groups present on the aromatic ring and I'll be showing you guys just the reactions not the mechanisms for it so let's just get started so the first one okay the first one is only works when you have a aldehyde or a ketone present that's attached to the aromatic ring so for example if you have your aromatic ring drawn as such and you have a ketone for example uh, right there's your ketone you have your ketone what you could do is completely get rid of this C double bond O and completely get rid of that that oxygen and that double bond and what you use the reagents used for this reaction is the same thing as uh, hydrogenation H2 palladium carbon catalyst okay and what happens is the result of this reaction you have your aromatic ring you end up with this as your product so you see this the the double bond O is completely gone and this is the first reaction that could occur on the groups present on the aromatic ring so um, and it also you need to keep in mind that you can only get rid of that C double bond O that double bonded O only if the carbon of the carbonyl group so the carbon right here of the carbonyl group is directly attached to the aromatic ring so if you had the C double bond O somewhere else over here it wouldn't work it has to be directly attached to the aromatic system okay so that's the first one and the second one okay works uh, what it does is it changes an alkyl group present on the aromatic ring to a carboxylic acid so let's just draw that so if you have your aromatic ring and let's just say you have this isopropyl group attached right you have this isopropyl group attached and um, what it does is that it changes this completely into a carboxylic acid and the reagents used is KMNO4 which is potassium permanganate um, H plus so any source of a proton and heat and what happens is that it changes the alkyl group to a carboxylic acid so any type of alkyl group that you have it could be even like way more branched or even more complicated but any type of alkyl group that you have if you use potassium permanganate H plus and heat I'll change it to this exact carboxylic acid product. It's the exact same thing for any type of alkyl group. However, there are some exceptions that, and there are some rules that you need to be aware of. That this reaction only occurs if you have at least one hydrogen present on the carbon directly attached to the aromatic system. So you see we have at least one hydrogen right here. right? On, so this is the carbon directly attached to the aromatic system there is at least one hydrogen so this reaction will occur so you need at least I'll write that down at least right one H right on carbon directly attached to ring so to the aromatic ring okay so this it only works when you have a H present on the carbon directly attached to the aromatic system so now for example example um, if you have an aromatic ring right here right and you have this alkyl group but it's completely substituted it's a it's a um, it's substituted so that there's no H is present on this carbon and so if you try to do the 
KMNO4, KMNO4, right? Um, the H plus and the heat. This reaction will not work at all. No reaction. Right? Because there's not an H present on the carbon directly attached to the conjugated system. So that's something you need to be aware of. And at the end, I'll do a little recap so you guys, if you miss something, we'll go over it again. And uh, now that's, that concludes the second reaction. The third reaction that occurs on the um, substituents present on the aromatic ring is if you have a NO2, a nitro group present. So if you have this aromatic ring, right? And let's just say you have an NO2 group right there, right? You can use the same reagents you used up here. So H2, comma, palladium carbon catalyst or you can use SN Cl2 and H plus which is a proton source and what will happen is that it will change this NO2 this nitro group to a NH2 group So that's what you get from this reaction. And so, here's the thing. Say for example, you have this NO2 group present and you have, say, a carbonyl group like that present also. So you have this present and you also have this present on an aromatic ring. Well, if you use the H2 palladium carbon catalyst, it'll, it'll change the NO2 first off to NH2 and it will also change the um, it will completely get rid of that C double bond O. It will deoxygenate this system. Now, the good thing is that you have this SNCl2 and H+, which is the other reagent that you could use to change this. Now, if you use this and you have both the NO2, right? If you have this NO2 present and this, and this carbonyl compound present, it will not affect this. This will remain the same. It will only change the NO2 group. So, an example quick example you have an aromatic ring right here as shown um, you have an O2 and let's just say you have this um, ketone right there right if you use H2 palladium carbon catalyst it will change this into just an ethyl group and it will change this into NH2 but say for example we we only want to change the NO2 we'll use SnCl2 H plus right and our product from this reaction will be NH2 and we'll still have our ketone okay so there you have it that's the third reaction so let's let me get another piece of paper, okay? So that's the third reaction. Now, the fourth reaction. So that reaction that I just showed you, so let's write number four right here. That, that reaction that I showed you is reversible. So what you could do now to change it back from NH2 to NO2, you'd use a different set of reagents. So let's just say you have your aromatic ring, right? Let's just say you have a N... H2 present right here and you want to change it to NO2 the reagents used in this conversion of NH2 to NO2 is this CF3 C O O H right and double bonded O and this is known as put on top per acid Okay, use that and you use CF3, CO3, H. Okay, and this will convert completely your NH2 to NO2. So the result of this reaction will be 
the nitro group. So the conversion of NO2 to NH2 is reversible. And this is the way you do it. And the fifth and final reaction on the groups present on the aromatic ring is this. Say you have an NH2 group present. We'll put the NH2 right here. What you could do, usually you can't do, like I explained in my previous videos, you cannot do a friedel crafts acylation or alkylation because NH2, NO2, or a strong electron withdrawing group will not allow that. Now, say for example, we could do this and then do the friedel crafts acylation or alkylation. What you'll do in this, the reagents used is this. You're, go you're going to use the reagents for the Friedel Crafts acylation in this reaction. And what this will do, remember, I'll put R for any type of alkyl group. And then you'll use AlCl3, right? What this will do is not add to one of these carbons here. It will. It will attached to the N and it will make the N right here into a electron donating group so the result of this reaction is N and you have your H still present okay and then you have this ACL group attached to the N Okay, oops, I put CH3. I meant to put R. Okay, that's an R for any type of alkyl group. So, this is the fifth reaction. So, if you have NH2 present, you usually cannot do the Friedel Crafts acylation, and you cannot, in, in all essence, and technically, you cannot do it. But you could use these reagents to change the NH2 to this type of, to this type of uh, group, where now you could do the Friedel Crafts. Uh, acylation and alkylation and the beautiful thing about this is that this reaction is reversible so you could do the Friedel Crafts acylation or alkylation now and then bring back your NH2 group and the way you do that is simply so if you have this what you're going to do to bring it back to this is you use H plus so any source of H and H2O and what that will do is that, that this will reconvert back into your starting material so let me give you an example of what I mean how this can be beneficial so so if this is your aromatic ring and you have NH2 you could use this reagent this Friedel Crafts acylation reagents so R ALCL3, right? That will give you the NH, and then you have that, right? And then what you can do from here is then do a Friedel Crafts acylation or alkylation, the real deal type of reaction. So let's do a Friedel Crafts alkylation, um, CL right and a l c l three let's bring the arrow down here so we get some more room okay and so what we could do is that since this is electron doting right it has a pair of electrons uh on the atom directly connected to the aromatic system so it could donate via resonance so the product of this will be the alkyl group and the ortho and para position so since it's electron donating so I'm running out of time in this in this part of the video so stay tuned to the second part where I'll discuss and finish up this little example and I'll do a little recap of what we have covered so far uh, so uh, please stay tuned